guys, we found! We found a little trick to farm the weapon enhancement ore really, really quickly. No! God, please, no! No! God! Look at this. No! Nice. What is up, everyone? In this video, we're gonna check out the new four-star weapon called... What is the name? Akuromaru! Did I say that right? Oh, somebody's gonna shit on me for that. Anyways, I don't give a shit. Hey, we have came up with the best waifu team ever. We have Beidou, Yulai, Raiden Shogun, and Kujo Sara. In order for me to utilize the new weapon... You do this. If you want that maximum 40% increase elemental burst damage, we can go with 40 divided by 0.12%. That is equal to 333. So besides Raiden Shogun, other three characters require 80 energies. So that is equal to 240 plus, plus 90. That is equal to 330. So there's almost maximum potential out of that new weapon. So what are we going to do here? We're going to compare it with the Wolf's Greystone. So right now my Beidou with Wolf's Greystone, she has 2000 attack with 70% crit rate with a 133% critical damage, okay? Uh, spoiler alert, Wolf's Greystone is going to be better overall for the party, but we want to check this weapon out, right? And then we should be able to know if this is gonna be any good at R1. And we're gonna be comparing it with the big boy R5 weapons. We can probably see five star weapons with R5 is gonna be better, I'm assuming. And to make everything really easy, we're gonna go to Sparrow Abyss. Very nice. We don't have to worry about getting energies all the time. Triple Electro Team, Quadruple Booba Team, yes. What? I'm looking at 11k? 8.2k, 8.2k, right? And then you're gonna be using Raiden Shogun to get your energies back on your Beto. Wait, why is there a damage difference? 5.9k now. Oh! Oh shit! Kujo Sara's attack buff! <laughs> redo, redo. Redo, redo. Yes, okay, okay. So 8.2k. Probably a lot more with the effect of Bull's Greystone, but we are going to neglect it. Because we like this kind of damage bonus, right? So we're gonna be using Akomaru. My attack is down to 1448. 70% crit rate, 133% critical damage. Same. Because both of the claimers, they don't have the crit rate or critical damage whatsoever. So, same team. Here you go. Right in Shogun E. Kujusara Q. 4.6k. 4.6k. So, obviously, we cannot... <laughs> we cannot compete the amount of damage you do versus the Wolf's Greystone R5. I was looking at this. So as I attack, there will be additional damage around you. So I was looking at like about 5k damage. Were you guys looking at 10k, 11k around? Okay, we're gonna redo this without right and see. So that we're gonna be doing less damage, but we should be able to see the, the clear difference. Thirteen. 10k. Thirteen K. Ten K. Ten K. All right. That is at R one. Now we going back to R five. Will's Greystone. All right. Let's go. Fourteen K from R five. Will's Greystone. Let's do it again. All 
All right, so maximum potential seems like it's like 16, 16k, right? 16k, we've seen 16k. Actually, this weapon is pretty good at R1. I would say it's on par, almost, with the Wolf's Greystone. However, obviously, Wolf's Greystone is going to benefit your whole team. And this weapon is just being really selfish and it's only good for your, your character. Why don't we go ahead and get this to R5? It will be very interesting. Okay. You know what's so funny? With the 330 energy that I have right now in this team, I'm multiplying this amount and I barely am missing the maximum uh, increase in little burst damage. So with the 330%, if you multiply this by 0 0.24, that is 79.2. 0 0.21 times 330, that is 69.3. All right, we got this to R5 now. And then we're gonna go ahead and see how much damage we will do with this Claymore. Fifteen k. <laughs> okay, so so that's uh still on par damage with the R five gravestone. Super super close to R five gravestone with the maximum potential. So I would say this claymore is pretty pog. So if you buy any chance for this weapon, then you can use it on Beto. One bad thing about this is that you might be thinking that they're going to be adding those 4-star weapons into the permanent banner. They don't do that. Let me take a look at the details. If they don't say they're going to add it to the, the standard banner, it's going to be limited. I don't think they say anything about that, so it will be limited. I strongly discourage you to spend money or <laughs> or uh, spend your primal gems into this weapon banner unless you want Eye of Perception. I don't know why, but as you have seen in my summon session, I was so pissed. I got at least like 20 Eye of Perception until I got 5 Akuomaru. So uh, if you get really lucky, then it's good. There's going to be a very small chance for you to get Akuomaru, especially as a small spender. And we know that this pity system for a weapon, it goes away if the weapon banner goes away. So unless you're going for Polar Star, no, no, stay away from this banner. Because weapons are nice, but they will drain your money so much. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking this video out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.